With the new year comes new excitement, new opportunities, new struggles and challenges. So when it comes to properties, what are some of the changes we can implement for a brand new year? Here to give us some expert advice on all things property for 2016 is private property CEO Simon Bray. Happy New Year, Simon! <laughs> <laughs> a little bit late, but uh, better late than never. Well, I haven't seen you yet, so it, it, feels, it feels like I have to say Happy New Year. But let's talk about the new year, you know, with this whole platform of change and people want to make better resolutions, can that be applied to property as well? Absolutely. In fact, you know, the beginning of a year is always the most exciting time for people when it comes to thinking about property. Property search is at its highest. Uh, in fact, uh, when we look at the website in January, we've just had it passed, it's mm -hmm. the highest stats we've ever had on the site, the most people interested in changing uh, their address. Yeah. So, you know, property is really a hot topic. I think it's probably first and foremost when people think of New Year's resolutions, it's I'm going to change my life, I'm yeah. going to find a new property. So yeah, we certainly see it as an exciting time of the year. There's a lot you can do around your property as well that mm. uh, uh, the new year heralds in. Talking about doing something with regards to property, from a financial perspective, what are some of those new year's changes that you can make when it comes to property? Yeah, well, you know, your financial status is very important when it comes to the biggest asset in your life, your home. Yeah. So and making the changes, making the adjustments to your behavior that will enhance your ability to, to get a home loan or help with uh, the repayments, help with the costs are really important. So I'm going to sound a little bit like the Grinch of 2016, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's the financial uh, conservative yeah. approach that's really going to help. It's things like saving money before you spend it. Mm. Uh, a great tip is to set up a small debit order to a savings account right at the beginning of the year. So identify how much you want to save, uh, take a, a slice off your salary or your income for the month and put it in a savings account that you don't mm. touch. Uh, and that can be used for all sorts of things, uh, things like renovations, uh, maintenance uh, to the property, uh, and perhaps even a deposit on your new home. So yeah. saving first, really important. Minimizing your credit card mm. debt. You know, Preach. all of Preach. us had a big uh, <laughs> fun December and, and the yeah. credit cards are perhaps a little bit bloated. Tighten the belt, make sure that you bring that down because that interest is going to start to really squeeze uh, as we get into the year. You know, yeah. we've just had an interest rate uh, hike. Whew. That's not a great thing for yeah. any of us. It's, uh, it means the pinch is just that much more painful. Yeah, well now that January is over, <laughs> I think it's very good to be making better financial decisions um, in February and for the rest of the year. When it comes to doing things around your home to make a positive change, what would you suggest we do there? Well, the great thing is that, uh, as I mentioned before, the property is your biggest investment. And I think a lot of people don't look at this time of the year as a great opportunity to improve themselves. Yeah but also improve their property. So if you're living in a lovely house or an apartment, don't only think about what could be next, the next apartment, the next house, but think about the one you're in. Uh, maintenance is critically important. You know, If you get behind on simple things like painting, uh, roofing, yeah. uh, you know, the odd leak here and there, it's easy to live in your home and just kind of live around these problems. Yeah. But uh, maintenance is a really great way to stay ahead. Uh, if you let any of these problems uh, accumulate too much, well, you know, stitch in time saves nine. You Absolutely. Know, the, the problems get on top of you. So yeah. I would say top tip, maintain your home. Um, but also other things. If you're looking to renovate, then look around in your area, look on private property, see mm. what adds value to a home. Mm. You know, is it perhaps an extra bathroom? Yeah. Uh, is it a kitchen upgrade? Uh, renovate for something that's universally appealing, something that'll add marketability and value to your home. Kind of Don't home. just do something that, uh, you know, maybe perhaps like a cinema room that yeah. appeals to you and you alone. <laughs> <laughs> so true. We all need a man cave, eh? Hey? Come on now. Well, yes, okay. I mean, <laughs> You know, allow yourself that little luxury. Oh, thank you so much, Simon, for those tips. It's like having Simon Bray on speed dial. We'll do it again next week, same time, same place, yeah? Thanks, so. <laughs> Now, whether you are planning to buy, sell, or just fix up your home, private property has a home for everyone. And whatever it is you're looking for, and whichever neighborhood you're interested in, swing by their website, www.privateproperty.co.za, to find out more.